Okay folks, welcome to this video. We're looking at clip 135, standard form grade B, style questions. Looking at first of all, what is standard form? Standard form is a way of expressing very large or very small numbers using this template, this style of work. So we have a number at the front, we call this A. The number at the front of the standard form is always between 1 and 10. Greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. And then we times it by 10 to powers of 10. And the power is indicated by the N number. Now if this is a positive number, that indicates it's a large number. And it also indicates when we unpack the number, if we're going to be moving towards the right. In terms of the jumps. If N is negative, this indicates that the number represents a small number. And then to get back to the original number, we have to move to the left. Okay. Now without any further ado, let's have a go at some of these questions. So we have the first question, 0.004. Now, if you're going to express it in the form a times by a, n to the, 10 to the n, then this a must be between 1 and 10. To make this number between 1 and 10, we need to get this decimal point and put it over here. So it will read 4 point naught. So if you move that decimal point to here, then that number will read 4 point off to 4. So we are going to give instructions on how to get the number back to what we started off as. So we don't need that. So that's 4 times by 10 to the because we move into the left, as we said, if we lose the left, it's going to be minus. Here you go, there's the answer. 4 times by 10 to the minus 3 is the first one. Okay, example number 2. 6, we have 6, 3, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is the number, as we see here, the decimal point is currently at the end of the number. In this particular question, the decimal point was there. In a whole number, the decimal point is always at the end. But we want this number to read the first value, which is A, between 1 and 10, so we're going to put the decimal point in here. So the number will then read 6.35, then we're going to multiply it by 10. Okay, how many times? So from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So this telling me now, if I get 6.35 and I multiply it by 10 7 times, it will take the number from what I have here back to the original number, which was this layer. Okay. So that's two questions. A small number, how you represent it. A large number, how you represent it. I'm going to do the reverse, where we got standard form, we're going to change it to normal number. So let's have a look what that means. So here's the standard form, 8.317 times by 10 to the 5, which means this number multiplied by 10 5 times, so we're going to get the decimal point and move it to the right five times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Copy, copy, copy. We have now 1, 2, 3 empty humps. 1, 2, 3, and stop. When I say empty humps, okay, let me just double check that. So we have 3, 1, 7, pardon me, 2 empty humps. We're done. When I say two empty humps, I mean two humps, if that's the original number there, that it would be, there's no number over them. It's time by 10 to 5, you just ignore that for the moment. Example number 4, 3.1 times by 10 to the minus 3. So we have this decimal point here, the minus 3 indicates we're going to move this decimal point to the left. 3 places 1, 2, 3, that's an empty hump. It's not a number there in the original question. So similarly here, all we have to do to indicate that could get this time by 10 to 5 and move it slightly further down so it's then we can see the empty arms. Right, so we copy down the point, a zero, a zero, copy down the three. That's our rough answer to make it proper. We need to put another zero to make the number sound and look right. And that's the end of this short video.